The first step to getting started in ZenHub is to create an account. First, navigate to ZenHub's website and click on Try for Free in the upper right-hand corner. Next, you'll be able to choose to sign up with Google or with your work email. For the sake of this video, we'll show you how to sign up by manually entering your work email, as you see me doing here. Once you've done that, as well as chosen a password, you can go ahead and click on My Account. Just be sure to validate your email address before continuing. Next, you'll just need to answer a few simple questions that are designed to help us create the right account for you. Select whether you're using for ZenHub for business, school, open source or academic purposes, as well as whatever title best matches your current role. Also, don't forget to click on the checkbox if you want to stay in the know on product updates and best practices. Finally, provide your organization name within ZenHub, and you're done. Now, if you're working in ZenHub, there's a good chance you're working with developers who use GitHub. To start creating developer issues, you'll need to go ahead and connect your GitHub account, which is what we cover in our next video. For any non-developer tasks you have on the go, you can go ahead and create a ZenHub issue to capture your work. As always, if you have any more questions about what we've discussed, feel free to reach out to our support team at support at zenhub.com. See you next lesson.